Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. It is Friday evening. We're going downtown hunting, but I have a very special guest. My one of one, my very first subscriber, my wife, Shelly Pavilonis. Do you have anything you want to tell the entire world? Well, it's been a journey with these cards. We'll just, we'll just start with that. <laughs> the obsession is real between him and Graham. We're talking cards all day, every day. All right, that was a lot more than we needed to know, but that's okay. Thank you for uh, participating here. So we're going downtown hunting on Fridays. I explained kind of what to look for. It can be valuable, super valuable. And uh, you you do like sports, you know, having boys, but you also like sports uh, yourself. So what are your favorite sports? Do you want to grab one of these packs to open? You can go ahead and talk and open if you want to okay so i would prefer to watch basketball or um football now college basketball or professional basketball um i'd rather watch college basketball uh football either but i i don't really alvin Kamara on silver we're actually going to go over the saint okay. schedule here in a little bit so i know you do like college um, basketball, and you like the fighting Illini of Illinois. Do you have any memories of the Illini? So I grew up in Champaign, so we went to all sports of all sports Illini related, um, but specifically basketball. Um, growing up, back when it was called Assembly Hall, now I think it's State Farm Center or something like that. So um, lots of basketball games. They had like the biggest, best chocolate chip cookies. Oh, we we love chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> That's for sure. We love chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Any good cards you got in there? Okay, I don't know. I'm, I got Kurt Warner, Montez Sweat, Khalil Shakir. That's a fancy looking card. It's on card. a purple. Why don't you show people? Okay. It's, not, it's not worth anything, but just, okay, show, it's just fancy. show the people. And Martin Emerson, rated rookie. All right. Both rated rookies so there. for football, college, obviously you like Notre Dame better than the Illini, but we're not going to go into that. So for pro football, it seems you like more players than teams. What are some of your favorite <laughs> players? Um, well, I like J.J. Watt, but I know he's not playing anymore. Um, what do you like about J.J. Watt? I mean, is this what his I like, defensive technique, or what do you like about J.J. Watt? What I Watt? like about J.J. Watt is that he gives back, and I think that that's really important with you know a platform like these um, NFL players have. So um, that's what I like about him. He's I, a handsome man, too. He's so also can, handsome, can, so that, that doesn't that. hurt. we got Tyree um, Kill on the diamond hands right there. I can't get this one open. Uh, and then um, Trent McDuffie I, on the rookies, rate of rookie. We help you with that pack there. I also uh, like the Kelsey brothers. Um, I like that Jason rolls up to game day um, in just like mesh shorts and a cutoff shirt. Um, very like small town feel. Um, Here's who, your else, pack open. who else did I say that I like? So what? Jason is the one. What's the other Kelsey brother name? His name is Travis, and he's good looking, but you know, I yeah. Okay, so we got Cole. Cole Komet. He went Komet. to the University of Notre Dame We've for got the Bears. Tyler Lockett. Vellis Jones. Junior, rated rookie rated on the rookie. silver there for the Bears. Sam and Howell. And Sam Howell. All right, is this the last pack that I have here? All right, so any other football players you like? Last chance for a downtown right here, folks. Um, I like some of the older players, like Donald Driver. Um, I do like Donald Driver, Quickie, Dancing with the Stars. Mm-hmm. We have a James Cook on the Elite Series. Danny Gray. Boy Moffey. No downtown. Any other mm. players that you like? Um, well, if we're talking basketball. I really thought you were going to be good luck for a downtown today, but keep on going. Any other players that you like? Um, well, I like um, Giannis as well. Uh, Graham likes Giannis, and so we watch a lot of the Bucks games. So that's good. That's about it for me. Alrighty, that's about <laughs> it. All right, here we go. So we're going over two schedules today, Los Angeles Rams. Now, out of 17 games, how many games do you think the Rams are going to win? I'll let you know if you're going to be close or not. Okay, well, I think that they, you said, I, I think you said maybe they've been in the Super Bowl recently. So I'm going to go, there's 17 games, I'm going to go 14. Woo! Man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you watched many Rams games last year, but Las Vegas has them to get six and a half wins oh. over six and a half. 
is minus 105. So this is going to be a tough stretch. They had a tough year last year. Losses against Seattle, San Francisco, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Philadelphia, Arizona. They're finally going to beat Pittsburgh in week seven. And then losses at Dallas and Green Bay. They're finally going to get to their bye. They have a little bit of a hot streak. They'll win against Seattle, Arizona, Cleveland. Lose against Baltimore beat Washington, losses against New Orleans and the Giants in the win against San Francisco. Probably a meaningless game for the 49ers to be 6-11. So you were kind of way Ooh. off wow. on them. There's no guarantee that I'm right. I have some crazy predictions like Shohei coming to the Cubs. He probably watched his last homestand and thought, why would I leave where I am to go play with these guys? But that's besides the point. All right, next team, the New Orleans Saints. They're going to play 17 games as well. How many do you think they're going to win? Um, Alvin Kamara still plays there, yes? Yes, he does. Okay. Drew Brees no longer plays there. Okay, I think I knew that one. Um, I'm going to go 13. 13. One less, I think. Well, Vegas <laughs> has, interesting number, over 9.5 is plus 105, the first plus number that I've given you all season long. So here we go. They are going to win against Tennessee and Carolina, lose against the Green Bay Packers. They'll beat Tampa Bay. They're going to lose against New Orleans, beat Houston, lose to Jacksonville. And before they're by, they're going to be on the road and beat uh, the Colts, the Bears, and Minnesota. Then they're by. They're going to lose against Atlanta. They're going to win against uh, Detroit, Carolina, lose against the Giants. They're going to beat the Rams, lose against Tampa Bay, win against Atlanta for 11-6. and six. You're a lot closer on that one. Mm -hmm. Now, I will go and do the dinner dishes if you know how we sign <laughs> off the videos here. I do know. I've heard it a million times. Class is dismissed. <laughs> Graham and Jax, time to do dishes. <laughs> Everyone have a good weekend.